Hello, this is uh, your pellet stove master here, uh, Don, and I um, want to show uh, what I've been finding with these uh, oil light bronze bearings. Um, this uh, is an auger end plate uh, with the standard uh, oil light bearing that comes out of a lot of different brands of stoves. Um, Enviro has them. Um, um, Breckwell, um, a lot of uh, major brand stoves have them. Now, the problem I've been finding is that the uh, the brass bronze bearing, um, it is oil impregnated, and the heat draws out the oil so it does dry up, and then um, a lot of times inside it'll get black and gunky from from the pellets and that makes the auger sticky and, and jamming. But uh, in this case, um, and I've this happens too often, is um, it'll wear a groove in the bearing. You might be able to see that here. And um, what happens is when the auger turns, uh, the bearing turns inside the uh, end plate. And, and that shouldn't happen, and that can make like a herky-jerky um, auger movement that uh, may feed pellets um, erratic and um, may cause or uh, contribute to the cause of more pellet jamming. So um, this particular end plate, I don't know if you notice, but it comes out of... Um, a Hudson River, like um, Saranac, a West Point stove. This is from a West Point stove. And um, in this case, uh, we're fortunate because it has a nice heavy duty um, stainless steel auger with a, um, which is three quarter inches in diameter. Now, Dr. Whitfield in his um, infinite wisdom there on pellet stoves developed uh, a three-quarter inch nylatron uh, auger bearing. Uh, it's um, hard, but it has some give to it. Um, it's permanently lubricated. Uh, it's threaded, and it's got a nut on it, so it will not turn inside the auger end plate. It's, um, I think, for a top-feeding pellet stove, the best bearing on the market. Unfortunately, if you don't have a three-quarter inch auger, um, then you have to uh, use either a high temperature nylon bearing, which um, you can get for the five-eighths diameter augers, or the half-inch augers, uh, just getting a new, fresh um, oil light bearing will still give you uh, another five years of, of good life. Um, so, um, in this case, um, the Nylatron bearing is the same inside diameter of the three quarter inches. However, the outside di diameter is a little bit bigger to get this in. So. You can just take one of those um, titanium step drill bits, drill it out a little bit, and um, you can pop this right in, and the auger will work smoother, uh, the motors will last longer. Uh, I prefer the high quality uh, Gleason Avery auger motor with the ball bearing. Um, but anyways, uh, this is a real key to uh, a nice smooth uh, auger and pellet flow. Uh, this is Dawn Pellet Stove Master, and thank you for watching. Have a good night.